Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how to do some string printing and string painting like these using um, washable paint, string, a pair of scissors, scissors, string, some paint and then I've got some old jelly pots that I'm going to put the paint into. So I will start off by doing the string so you don't want to cut it any longer than the length of your arm. So hold it between your index finger and your thumb and then stretch it out until it gets to your elbow. And then you can use your other hand to hold that. That's kind of where you're going to cut it. You obviously don't want to make it any longer because then it's going to be really hard to do the painting with it. So this is going to be your string. I'm going to put a little bit of, this is just some red washable paint. I'm going to put a little bit into here. It's not too much. I'm just going to squeeze out. And it's probably kind of that sort of size, just a little bit. You don't need to fill the pot up unless you're doing a lot, a lot of painting. And then the string, I'm just going to drop it into here. So I'm going to start off just with a smaller one to start with. And I'm just going to do it in one colour. So what you want to do is you want to coat that string and paint. So you're probably going to get lucky fingers and that's fine. So just make sure it doesn't have to be completely coated for now. Because this is your first one, it's going to pick up quite a lot of paint so I'm pull it out I'm trying to keep my other hand clean or as clean as possible so what you're going to do is you're going to work on one side of it so you're going to kind of arrange it where you want it to go so it might be that you want to create a little swirl or a little pattern bear in mind this is your paint hand and this is your clean hand you're then going to fold the paper over so that this edge is now touching this edge and if you hold that down with the flat of your painted hand and you're just going to push across like this, just to exaggerate this. And then what you can do is you can just use your hand to push it over. And what you should be able to feel the string, you should be able to feel exactly where it's placing it. And what you're doing is you're rubbing that paint off in between the two sheets. So I folded my paper in half, but you can have two individual sheets if you want. And when you open it back up, you're starting to get a design there. It's a very abstract sort of design. And at this point, you probably don't even need to put some more paint on. You can then just move the string back over, create a new swell, and you're going to repeat it. So fold the edges over to meet, and then rub, rub over it gently. You can use your finger and really push over that string to make the print really strong. And then you can just keep going for as many times as you want. You're going to create this really... See here how you've got the mirror images? That's really coming through. And then just pick it up. And then if you wanted to add a bit more... Actually, I think there's probably still quite a bit of paint on this one because it's the first go. And try over here. And it's actually how much you want to do, how much you want to keep going. Just rub your hand, rub your finger over it. And the more you rub it, the stronger the print is that you're going to get. So I think at this point I'm going to try putting a little bit more paint on this one. I'm just going to wind it back into the pot, pick up a little bit. Do it here. What I might try and do, I'm going to try and do a swirl this time I think. So, let's see if I can do this. So there, let's make a swell. And you're kind of layering it up. Just rub your hand over. Then you've got your mirror image as well. You can just go as much as I haven't done any over here. So I'll pop it in there. You could try and do the initial, the first letter of your name. You could try and do different characters. And just keep building it up so that's just with one color and you can then leave it like that and let it dry or you can then start to add a second color to it i'm going to start on a fresh sheet actually to show this one right so i've got my fresh sheet i'm going to go i'm going to do my first one with a little bit of red so i'm just coating the string in the red and i'm just going to drop that down there and then fold the paper over again like we did before and then just press it on here 
and you start to get pitch come through here and then what you can do you can either use a new bit of string or actually i'm just gonna drop there so i'm literally this is a purple paint and i'm just dropping it in so i'm not coating it i'm just picking up a tiny bit of the paint on some of the edges of the string and then i'm going to try again so now you're starting to mix the colours and it's going to give you a slightly different effect on it. So then fold it in half, rub your hand over. Really make sure that you are really pushing that string down so that you're getting the print. And you can do this with any sort of string. You could do it with knitting wool or... There you go, you start to see new colours coming through. So you could do it with knitting wool, you could do it with garden string, you could do it with ribbon so any sort of thing that you can start to play with there so i'm going to drop it a little bit back into the red pot again and i'm going to drop it a little bit back into here if you don't want to mix the paints that's absolutely fine you can use different sorts of string so on that one and what i might do actually is i'm just going to cut a new bit of string i'm going to do it slightly shorter this time just make sure that paint doesn't leak out that's when you want to make sure that you do have newspaper down and this time i'm going to try it in the yellow this one's a little bit watery here because i did some water to it which you don't need to do it was just the paint was a bit old so i was trying to loosen it up a little bit so you could i'm going to try and coat that one in do several strings all in one go and they'll start to create new things. So I'm then got two designs going through, you're gonna fold the paper over, use this bit of your hand, this bit here, you're gonna rub the head of your hand over it like that. And then when you open it up, you should start to get these new designs coming through here. And then because we've mixed the colour on that single string really starting to get them both coming through and then drop that back into the red part and you can just keep building it up i quite like the shot of yellow coming through there so i'm gonna soak it in the yellow this time use my fingers to make sure it's nice and coated and then i'm going to rub it along the edge of the lid here just so that the edge of the pot just so it takes off any excess because this one's quite watery and drape that one over and i'm going to go back to the red one and this is a really good way for using up paint as well because you can then kind of make the string as wet as you want it to be so i've put the red in i'm going to pick up a little bit of this purple because i quite like the combination of the two there and then lay it on top And then rub your hand over to really push that string down so you're getting all the paint off. And like I said, I'm using a piece of paper folded in half, but you could use two completely separate sheets of paper. And then when you open it up and take your string off. Look, all these new amazing signs that are coming through here with the mirror images. And actually, even because I've got a bit of paint on my hand here, so even just moving the yellow string there has added some more colours to it. So I'll try putting it over and see. And it's just about playing and it's not about being too precise. You're just creating new designs and new patterns. And then you can pop it in a frame. You can make it into a card, do it into a bit of wall art and kind of keep going. Build it up as much as you want and you can do it in a single colour like this, which I did as very abstract sort of repeating patterns this is a bigger sheet that i did where i tried to do more swirls and i just used a single color and just kept building up this is um an a3 size and just folded it in half or you can then use you know three or four colors and build up to create your abstract kind of string painting and that's another one that i did on the bigger sheet and again you start to see all the repeating patterns come through and it's just a really fun way to explore you know designs and texture and line and color so yeah have a go have a play with some strings and paint and let me know what you make all right take care bye